So a couple of months ago, I did a trends I'm not buying anti-haul, if you will, and you guys really seem to like it, so I thought I would do one for the spring 2021 trends. And don't get me wrong, you guys, I still love fashion. I am curious to see what people are wearing, and I think it's fun if people enjoy fashion and really enjoy the expression in that, but for me, I'm not gonna go broke for the name of fashion anymore. That's just not what I'm gonna do. So that's why I'm not buying into these trends. It's not necessarily because I think they're ugly or weird or tacky. It's more that I'm just not gonna allocate funds in my budget for them. So these are the trends that I am not spending money on for spring of 2021. So I had to do a little bit of research before I filmed this video because maybe I'm a little bit out of touch. Am I so out of touch? No. It's the children who are wrong. So the first trend item that I'm not going to buy this year are the floofy style tops. I think a lot of people are calling them Bridgerton style tops. I haven't watched that show yet. They're sort of very feminine, sort of poofy sleeves, um, a lot of like box cut necklines. But for me, whenever I wear that type of top, it only goes in one direction. And that's this one. <laughs> Now that's a great looking shirt. And I think, you know, I think these tops are actually beautiful. I think if you can pull them off, then definitely do it. But for me, they just definitely don't suit me. I've tried it before and I have gotten rid of every single top that looks like this. You know, I'm seeing a lot of people wear like the headscarf, Audrey Hepburn style, Jackie O style with the sunglasses. Very 60s mod sort of retro vibe. But for me, it can also go this way. And that's right back down to my Ukrainian roots the babushka. I don't know, growing up for me, I saw a lot of old babas and ladies wear them, wearing them around at church, and that's just where my head goes when I see this. So I don't know, when it comes to fashion, it's all about perspective, isn't it? That one's mine. The third item I am not going to buy is a color palette, and that is pastels. Pastels for spring happen every single year, and I think it's just everyone is feeling fresh and blooming and sick of winter, which I am too. So there's a whole lot of kind of pastel lavender colors, daffodil yellow, pastel pink, robin's egg blue. And I'm seeing a lot of that in very cool ways, like in pantsuits, the wide leg trouser trend with blazers. These types of colors are really being incorporated into a lot of really classic and really cool silhouettes. But for me personally, and if you guys have been following my channel, I mean, this brown is about as colorful as I get. So I really don't see myself investing in anything that could possibly be a Cadbury mini egg color. Trend number four is kind of a throwback for me, and that is the keyhole or cutout type of shirts. I'm seeing a lot of tops that are backless or they have cuts on the sides. I think it's very cool. I think it's it's kind of 90s to me, especially with that backless kind of look, which I think is quite sexy. It looks really cool if you can pull it off. For me, I don't think we'll get those 30 wears or a good cost per wear at all, even if I thrifted it, because I don't think I'd wear it that much. Actually, one trend that I really, really love, and that is the oversized Oxford shirt. I've been seeing the Oxford shirt everywhere. I'm seeing them all over Instagram, on Pinterest, on TikTok, on Reels. Everyone is wearing an oversized collared Oxford shirt, either in white, blue, blue stripe, or some kind of variation of all of that. And I think it looks amazing. But here's the thing for me, since July of 2020, I have been tracking every single piece of clothing in my wardrobe and exactly how many times I wore it. And do you wanna know how many times I wore my Oxford button ups? zero. I recently did a closet declutter, decluttering what I call my fantasy self. I'll leave it right here for you. And a lot of my Oxford shirts were on the chopping block. So the Oxford is kind of something that I'm not really ready to let go of and I still really like it and I feel like it kind of does suit my style. But when I'm putting it into practice and actually trying to wear it, I always just feel slightly off. So if I do end up wanting to try something down the line, maybe when it's out of style again, then I think I'm going to thrift it or even borrow it. But that's the thing too, you guys, if you do like a trend, and a lot of you guys mentioned this in my previous anti haul, a great way to do it is to try to thrift it and try to buy it secondhand. I know it does take a little bit more time and energy and effort to do that, but I think that's also how you'll know if you actually really do enjoy a trend. And if you're still pursuing that trend and still liking it a few months later when it may, when it may not necessarily be in style anymore, then I think that's something worthy of putting your time or money into 
because you were still thinking about it and you were still putting that effort in there. So I think if you want to put some of your money into a trend, then doing it secondhand is a great way to do it. So yeah, I have a complicated relationship with the Oxford button up. I really love it. I love it on other people. Don't love it so much on myself, but also not really willing to say no to it yet. It's weird. The next trend that I won't be spending money on, but I will be wearing, and that's just because that's the color palette that I wear, is the black and white trend. So I guess with that trend, it is a lot about the color blocking between black and white. I'm seeing it a lot in stripes or on the runway, there's a lot of, uh, it's like split in half. So it would be half of the dress is black and half of the dress is white. But I think a more wearable way to try to rock the trend is just simply combining those two colors together. White t-shirt, black blazer. Okay, cool, I'm on trend. Another trend I've been seeing a lot that I'm not going to spend any more money on, but one that I might try because I've worn it before in the past and I have styled these in some of my lookbooks when I used to do them a little more often on this channel are bralettes. So the bralette trend I think is really fun. I think it looks really cool. I think it can be really flattering on a lot of different people. I just think it looks good on everyone. And I'm also seeing it a lot in kind of knit combinations. Like a lot of people are doing the knit bralette with the cardigan look. So I really don't feel compelled to go out and buy like a matching cardigan and knit bralette just to get this certain look. There's plenty of ways that you can play around with it using stuff that you already have. Even use a sports bra, like that would look really cool. And the last trend that I absolutely love and that I hope is actually not a trend because I think I'm gonna keep wearing it no matter how cool or uncool people say I am. And those are wide leg pants. Now I'm a millennial and thankfully I haven't seen the pants go this wide. But the reason I am not going to be partaking in this trend this year is because I have plenty already. I already do have a few pairs of relaxed jeans that will lend themselves really well to this trend. So I don't need to be buying any more, but another place where I'm seeing this trend a lot is sort of combining all of these spring trends together. So it'll be a wide leg pant, but it'll be that bright pink or that pistachio green color. If color is your thing, if combining those types of trends is your thing, and you know it's something you're gonna wear regardless of whether or not it's in or out of style, then I think totally go for it. I think the wide leg silhouette is nowadays quite classic and has outlived its label as a trend, but the combination of trends with that silhouette is where I think it becomes a little less timeless and maybe something more at risk of being decluttered in your wardrobe later. So those are some of the spring trends that either don't work for me or that I kind of like and that I might try, but I'm gonna try it without spending money because the definition of a trend is that it's gonna be out of style eventually. And I think if we start viewing fashion and trends, because I don't think they're ever gonna go away, it's just more how we adapt to them. If we start to view them as things that we can take inspiration from and then see what we can get creative with in our own closets, or just to enjoy seeing on other people without a feeling of less than or a feeling that you need to go spend money, then I think that is a healthy way to enjoy fashion get creative with your wardrobe and just play around with it. It doesn't necessarily need to cost you money and you don't necessarily need to be chasing these things every single season. And I wouldn't call anybody unfashionable or uncool if someone chooses to wear those trends when they're out of season. I guess all I'm saying is just play around with it and do it within your means. What else is my channel really about? Let me know if there's any trends that you guys are checking out this season. Do you follow trends? Do you follow seasons at all? leave me a comment down below. And if you guys could be so kind to leave this video a like, it really helps me out. And if you aren't already, please subscribe. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.